Online cloud storage platforms like Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive can be fantastic for storing your files, but when you're using the iOS apps, it can be difficult to work out how to download your files so that you can use them on your iPhone or your iPad. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, if you're a fan of creating music, video or other media using your iPhone or your iPad, then consider subscribing because I've got a bunch of tips and tricks and tutorials that are gonna help you out. Now, in this one, we're going to be looking at OneDrive, Dropbox and Google Drive and how we download files. So let's jump into that right now. Now, the first thing to mention is that we do actually have files integration here in iOS. So if you want to just jump in to your files app, you can actually add these as locations. And I cover this in another video, which is linked up the top and down in the description. But what I'm gonna show you here is if you just wanna open the iOS app and download a single file, how you can do that. Let's do it now. Let's start with Google Drive. So here I am in my Google Drive app on my iPhone. I'm gonna scroll down and let's find a file that I wanna download. Let's say I wanna download Stay In Your Lane, this M4A file, an audio file. What I need to do is tap on these three dots, which is actually called an ellipsis. And we're gonna tap on the ellipsis and now, You'll notice here as we scroll down, there's no actual download or save option. And most of your apps are gonna be the same, but what you're actually looking for is an open in or sometimes a share option. So what we're gonna do, you see our little box with the share line? That's what we need to tap first. So we're gonna tap open in. It's going to pop up and export, and then it will actually ask us where we wanna open it. So we can open it directly and transfer it straight to an app, or we can actually save it to our files. So if we tap save to files down the bottom here, then it will pop up and it will ask us where we want to save it. So say I wanted to bring this into a GarageBand project, I can tap my GarageBand file transfer folder, tap on add, and there you go, that's copied straight in. If we want to go in and check that, we can come over to our files, go to on my iPhone GarageBand, go to our GarageBand file transfer, and there it is. There's our audio file ready to use and bring into a project. What about Dropbox? Well, it's pretty much the same process. Let's come in here and find another file to download. We'll go into GarageBand here. And once again, let's download these. Again, we've got an ellipsis just underneath our file this time. If we tap on that, this time what we're gonna need to do is scroll down until we find export. So we'll tap on the export button again, and here we are. The same thing, one extra step here though, we now have to do open in. What it will do, it'll now export that file. So it's exporting it out. Once it's completed exporting, what we'll be able to do is actually save save it to our files and choose where we save it again. So here we go, we'll tap save to files. Let's just put it in that same GarageBand file transfer location, tap on add, just so once again, we can go over to files and check and there it is, it's been added in there. So it's a quick and easy way if you're just in your Dropbox or your Google Drive app that you can download and transfer those files to your device to use in any other application. And finally, for you Microsoft fans, let's show you how we do this in OneDrive. So I'm here in my OneDrive again. Let's do the same sort of thing. We'll go into a folder here. Let's just find a, a file to download. We'll scroll to the bottom here. Let's download this song file now again. We'll tap, this time our ellipsis is sideways. So we'll tap on the three dots anyway. We'll tap on share. It's gonna do the same thing here. It's gonna wait and export. And now we can tap save to files. It's gonna do the same thing. Let's tap add to add this file to our GarageBand file transfer transfer folder and there it goes. It has downloaded and it's sent it over to files. So let's jump over to files now and make sure that it's in that location. And we're back in files. We'll have a look here and yes, there it is falling. There is our AIF file for falling. So there you go. Regardless of which platform you're using, you can easily use the open in, the share, the export. They're the sort of functions you're looking for and any other similar sorts of apps here in iOS that you're looking for the same sort of thing. If you want to download it, it won't have a download button or a save button, but if that has an open or an export or a share button, you're going to be able to come in here and use this method. Hey, I hope you found this valuable and you can use this with your iOS file management. If you'd like to check out some more videos all about managing your files in iOS, there's two links right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.